personally, like, like when I was like 17 years old, mm-hmm. like, I listened to Train of Thought and it was like blew my mind. Oh, cool! <laughs> and I was like, I I play guitar and like. Um, I just remember trying to learn stream of consciousness. Like that's a hard one. Yeah. I know. Like I took the hard one, and like I just yeah. remember trying to stretch my hand. I'm yeah. like, oh, I just can't do this. I know. I know. It's not the wild. I didn't even touch the soul. I'm not even going into the soul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that I, you know, like it, it's 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 funny because um, like you guys have been around for you guys have been around older longer than I've been alive wow <laughs> that's wild uh, and yeah. so but like it like you know you have fans of totally different ages oh totally been relevant for so long yeah. so like for me like when I was like 17 like the train of thought because it was like heavy so right was like, yeah, that was the one that right. got you yeah 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 because it just really scratched my yeah. heavy metal like, yeah itch, right sure um, but I guess like other people like they are you know like images and words like yeah. Other Dream Theater fans like are just like that's that's my right album, right? Like, well, you'll find that you know what it. A lot of times it is what you're saying. It's like whatever album you discovered first, you know, um, and for whatever reason at that point in your life, that had a lot of meaning to it. Yeah. Um, and and it's you know I can relate to that as well. It, the ones I like from certain bands aren't necessarily the most popular ones, but it's just like the one that got me. Um, so yeah, that's cool. Was there was there a is there like a kind of a riff or like I guess an album or something like when you were like first learning how uh-huh. to play like is there any you know, what was your challenge I guess? Like, um, oh, there's like so many of them. You know, I remember um, I tried to when when Ingve, uh oh. came on the scene and he had that solo with was it Steeler? Was it when he was with Steeler and he did this like guitar solo just unaccompanied and um, I heard that for the first time and I was like what the fuck <laughs> you know and, uh, and I was like please no <laughs> stop yeah exactly stop and so and the funny thing was that I had been listening to Al Demiola and stuff like that and oh, amazing. working on like you know Friday night in San Francisco getting my chops up and I kind of had like a mental picture of these guys as and I'm, and they were young, I'm sure, at the time, but that's being like little older guys or whatever. And um, and then when it heard Ingve, I I pictured him as being another one of these kind of, you know, guys that would look like Paco or Al or something. Mm. And then when I saw him, he was like this, you know, 18, 19 year old kid from Sweden with oh. long hair with chains and his shirt open. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is going on? Where did you come from? What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> and uh, and so anyway, I, I remember learning, just trying to learn all of those licks, <laughs> slowing it down, you know, putting the record on, and, you know, putting it on the, the slower speed. So it was like an octave lower. Yeah. Uh, um, no tab back then, right? No tab yeah. back then. You can just look up the tab. No YouTube. Yeah. And my friend had a cassette player that had a variable, a variable nice. speed thing. Oh, nice. And I, literally, I sat there and learned every one of those licks and just would practice them over and over and over and over. I did that with Dimiola and John LaPonte and mm. Alan Holdsworth. I tried to learn. I'm like, you know, because you can't see the person playing. It wasn't like YouTube was around. And... And when you're young and you're listening to this, you don't even know what you're listening to. You know, let's say they have delay on it or something, and you know, and you hear these notes kind of ghost notes and stuff. And, and you're, you're like, like, "What the? F- <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. how do you play that?" Or um, how many hands are on the fretboard? Yeah, I remember listening to Boston, like trying to learn like the harmonized solos, mm. oh, and yes. literally not knowing what, like, how to do that. Having no, like, I'm like, my guitar just does not sound like that, no matter what I do. <laughs> you know, not knowing about the recording technique of multi-tracking guitar harmonies. Um, hearing Eruption for their first time. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, and he does the hammer-on part, yeah. he has phaser on it, and the delay, and it didn't sound like a guitar to me. Like, I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't comprehend how that was a guitar, because when I picked up a guitar, it sounded like plink, 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 <laughs> you know? And now, you know, kids are getting really, really good at a very young age, because they can see how all this is done. You, know, you just look it up. Oh, that's what he's doing, and yeah. copy it. Yeah, and it's amazing. But back then, you just you literally did not know what the te- technique was, and you had to discover it. And maybe you saw a friend do it, and you're like, Oh, that's how you do it. 
that's funny. Yeah. Like, yeah, I guess like I guess I Crazy. take YouTube for because when I was yeah. learning how to play guitar when I was like 15, 16, right? Uh, like I I could look up you know some some videos and stuff. Yeah. Like it wasn't necessarily YouTube, but it was. Yeah, like, yeah. You could, you could still download videos and stuff and check out. Yeah, you could see the hand position. Yeah, you could yeah. see what they're doing, their technique. You could slow it down. You know, then like you had to go see them live. Or maybe there was like a live concert video, but it wouldn't be yeah. good enough quality to actually. Or VHS yeah. Tape or something. yeah, VHS, and yeah. Um, there was a lot of like discovery, a lot of listening over and over and over, and you know, you'd hear like Satriani do some crazy whammy bar thing. Oh yeah. And you'd be like, "How is that guitar? Like that, the, <laughs> the note is way too high. It sounds like you know a spaceship. My guitar doesn't do that. You, know, you can't see that he had." what he did to get it to sound like that. He's like holding the whammy bar out right, like, and then like shaking the guitar yeah, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Right? So again, a lot of discovery, a lot of experimentation and you know, and a lot of those light bulb moments when it does kick in and you're like, that's how you that's do how it. You do it yeah. That's so cool. And then you practice that thing, you get better at it. Yeah.